Following the collapse of Germany's coalition, lawmakers are jostling over the timing of holding a vote of confidence, as well as the timetable for holding early federal elections. Today, an election assessment committee is set to debate the date of holding the snap elections. Officials have also warned of logistical issues with ballot printing. Germany's coalition government had collapsed due to internal disputes over budget and economic policy. The country is now gearing up for snap elections in 20, early 2025 against the backdrop of a flagging economy, the war in Ukraine and the looming second Trump presidency in the US. Chancellor Olaf Scholz last week set out his intention to hold a vote of confidence, a key step on the way to dissolving Parliament and holding new elections on January the 15th. However, following an outcry from the opposition Christian Democrats, Schultz said he would be open to having the Bundestag debate before Christmas. If Schultz loses a vote of confidence, under the Constitution, within, tw within 21 days, the Parliament has to be dissolved. An election must then be held within 60 days from the date of dissolution. According to the German media, a parliamentary committee and Germany's electoral management body will be holding discussions to assess the best timing for snap elections. This after the Social Democrats and the Green Party had asked Parliament's president to install the committee to discuss the earliest possible date for an early 2025 election. Amid the political chaos, the CEO of Germany's largest printing firm for ballot papers warned that a snap election in January would come with a lot of organisational challenges that could pose a challenge to the election process's integrity. States have voiced concerns that the collapse of Chancellor Olaf Scholz's coalition government could increase the country's price of flat rate local transport tickets. The funding of the ticket, that in 2024 cost just under 50 euros per month, has been a contentious issue from the onset. While the coalition's collapse and the lack of an agreed budget for 2025 did not immediately cut funding, states warned that unused funds from this year had to be transferred to avoid price spikes.